Hello and welcome back to FTL, Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. On the last run, I played as the Lanius Cruiser Type A. On this run, I'm going to be playing as the Mantis Cruiser Type B. Now you might be thinking, why are you playing the Mantis Cruiser Type B when you could be playing the NGB, the Federation Cruiser Type B, the Zoltan Cruiser Type B. And the simple answer is because we haven't actually defeated the Rebel Flagship with the Mantis A-Type, even though we've defeated the Rebel Flagship with all of the other A-Types that we have unlocked. So, get the Mantis uh, B-Type victory, and then we can switch over to the Slug Cruiser and see if we can't, uh, can't defeat the Rebel Flagship with that. Because every time you defeat the flagship with a layout, you get a new layout, except for these two on the right. Uh, this ship here, the super secret crystal ship, uh, the best way to unlock this is with the rock cruiser C type ship, interestingly enough. Uh, we don't have any of the C mode ships unlocked yet because you actually have to get to Sector 8 with the Zoltan Cruiser Type B and Advanced Mode enabled to unlock the ship. So every single ship here, we have to first unlock the B-Type, then get to Sector 8. You don't have to defeat the Rebel Flagship, you just have to get to Sector 8. But the Basilisk is an amazing ship. I really, really enjoy this ship. It starts out with two bars of shields. It starts out with a three bars of drone control with a boarding drone and a defense drone starts out with a teleporter room that has four teleport pads in it. I can board an enemy ship with four mantises if I have four mantises. This ship is amazing. It is so fun. It allows you to get such extremely high scores. The obvious pitfall, of course, is that we have literally no weapons. But trust me when I say that it is worth it. Why the boarding drone? Helps you with boarding, of course. Uh, we will attack the slaver scum, absolutely. I can't tell what they have because I need to actually put someone into the uh, sensor room to actually see, but that's fine. We are going to leave the piloting room, get into the teleport room, and board them in their piloting room. Get some free shots off on O'Regan here before he has a chance to, uh, before they have a chance to damage me all that much. Now they do have a mantis. We can deal with that though. We can swap the position of our mantises so that we take a better distribution of damage on our mantises. And now that their guy is dead, we can kill them. And this is perfect. We demand, or we, we ask the mantis that he joins our crew, and now we have three mantises that we can use to board an enemy ship. This is fantastic. This is absolutely wonderful. This is exactly what I had hoped for. We did get hit for one singular point of damage in that encounter. It sucks, but it's gotta happen. We don't have any, uh, any crew aboard our ship when we board, so you know, if they get a lucky shot off on us, they get a lucky shot off on us. There's nothing we can do about it. And this is wonderful. We can uh, do a lot of damage with boarding now. If there's two crew members on board a ship, they are toast. If there's, uh, if there's three crew members aboard the ship, they're probably toast. Save positions. Let's on. let's send people into rooms that they can actually do combat in, and then let's send them one into the sensors room, one into the teleporter, and then we will jump. There are a couple of problems with this ship. The first is that if we come across a Rebel Auto Scout, we actually can't defeat the Rebel Auto Scout with borders because our borders take damage because the Rebel Auto Scout has zero oxygen. What we have to use is the boarding drone to actually destroy a Rebel Auto Scout. It's kind of funky how it works. It does work though. We do, they do have, this ship does have a missile launcher, which is not that bad actually. We can board with a defense drone active on our side and deal with the missile launcher. We can also board with a boarding drone. And let our boarding drone kind of do some work. We have a, just a freaking melee in the Thanks. I really appreciate you, uh, defense drone, trying to block that missile and failing. Uh, th this is just a fr freaking pure melee right now. I want to get the crew members killed, because if they get killed, then I can send my crew members into the, uh, the, 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 the clone room 
take out the clone room and then the crew members die permanently. We are taking some damage, it's gotta happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, our Mantis is a little bit wounded, so let's swap their positions around. Get the fucking defense drone online, you idiot. I'm talking to myself there. There's no reason why I should have taken two hits from missiles. Uh, I might actually just have to uh, abort. Get people back on board my ship. Uh, this actually sucks. <laughs> my crew is... Uh, Having a bit of a problem, actually. Turn off the oxygen is the best uh, thing we can do here. We still have the defense drone. We can come back from this. We just have to let the uh, the the fire kind of wear itself out. Now the problem, of course, is that the oxygen is now no longer got any power in it, so we're kind of in a rough spot. In fact, we might just die here, which is honestly. Not that bad, because this is very early in the run, but whoops! Kind of got a little bit overzealous, I think, maybe, and might have just gotten myself killed. We might, we might be able to... Ah, we can't open the doors. <laughs> I think we're dead. Uh, we could leave. We have to get the uh, FDL drive powered up. We can't repair the med bay right now. I think I just got myself killed. That sucks. That really sucks. Mantises are slow at repairing. An NG could have fixed this for me, this problem. Well, fire died out. <laughs> Not much else I can do. I uh, can't really board them. Uh, guess we get the FTL power. You know what? Let's restart this run. That was, uh, I, I can't. <laughs> okay, look, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna say that I messed up there. I messed up there. I should have had the defense drone powered because the missiles started two fires in my door room and my med bay, like two of the three worst rooms for fires to start in, and as a result I died. It's my That's on me, you know? I had a very good start, I had another Mantis crew member, I threw it down the drain. Whatever, we can try to fix this and do it better next time. I will use a teleporter to beam them aboard my ship, we get another crew member, a human. We can use a human. A human is good at boarding. Not as good as a mantis, but not as bad as... I'm not going to say a rock man, but not as bad as an NG, you know? Uh, I will intervene to defend the outpost. This is an interesting combat encounter. I'm going to start by shooting a boarding drone at the enemy ship. So the boarding drone landed in the enemy weapon system, right? Now, auto assault scouts, they... These automated scouts that the Rebels use, they have no oxygen aboard their ship. If I was to beam over, my crew would die. The boarding drone, though, doesn't need oxygen, and he's going to do system or hull damage every time he destroys a system. So he can just walk through their ship, destroying their systems, and dealing one hull point of damage every time that happens. Now, the problem is twofold. First of all, he can't reach the piloting room, he can't reach the shield room, he can't reach the engine room. So he can't actually do damage to those systems to do hull damage. The second problem is that the uh, the place where he lands, the weapons room, it's never going to get repaired so he can't deal more damage to the ship. It's not going to get repaired because it's got a breach in it. And I can actually move the human over there and we can see this in action. It's got a breach in it. The repair drone will not repair this room. So I actually literally have to wait here for like five minutes more like three minutes, waiting for this boarding drone to kill the drone control room like six more times. It's kind of ridiculous, but it is a way, It it's the reason why you have a boarding drone, so that you can kill auto scouts without needing to use the teleporter, which you can't really use right now. The thing about that though, is that we actually could beam over mantises if we had a second level teleporter. A second level teleporter will let you beam your mantises back from the auto assault ship with 10 HP remaining. So level one, level one teleporter doesn't work. Your mantises will die if you teleport them over. You can do it with rock men, not with mantises or anyone else who has 100 HP. If you have a second level teleporter, you can beam mantises over and beam them back before they die. And they can take out 
you know, a system. They can take out a piloting system, prevent it from escaping, weapon system to, to prevent them from attacking you. As is though, there's like literally nothing that we can do here. We just have to wait for the boarding drone to kill the ship. The drone control room will be repaired because there's no breach in the room. And every time this happens, one HP. Just, uh, just gotta wait. All right, boarding drone, one HP left to go. You can do it, little buddy. He's gonna be destroyed, obviously, in the explosion, but this is why we have these disposable drones that we can shoot out at these rebel auto, auto assault ships whenever we need to. There we go. All that for an extra missile and seven scrap. We already, we used one, dro one drone part for this to work, so we got one drone part back, but then we got a lot of extra stuff out of it, so that was pretty decent keep jumping along so yeah second level teleporter first thing we get we could do it again let's do it again uh, we, we gotta wait a second for the boarding drone to get repaired they also have a, a bomb which is a bit dangerous but it's not that bad the bomb could damage the shields but unless it's an ion bomb it's not gonna do four damage and it could uh, you know hit our systems, like the oxygen system or something, it could be a fire bomb, but we can deal with it. It is actually an ion bomb, so if it hits the shields, we will take damage in the um, from the from the laser because our shields will be down. But by firing the boarding drone in, it landed in the weapons room, meaning that now that the uh, weapons are being taken offline, they will not come back online because again. The auto scout ship, these scout ships do not have the capability of repairing damaged rooms that have breaches in them. So the weapons, they're done. We're not going to get hit ever again. I could just like depower my entire ship except for oxygen and then just wait for this boarding drone to finish the job. And I am going to wait for him to finish the job because I have no weapons. All right, that combat is finished, and we get eight scrap plus sector scans, which is actually quite nice. Let's get everything powered up again. Wait for this to actually recharge this time. I guess this does not automatically clear the timer when you jump, which is weird. Ionization does. It would be nice to visit one of these two ship beacons, but unfortunately we can't. We kind of just got to push forward. So we are just going to push forward. If I go back, I have to visit a store and I have a lot of stuff I want to spend scrap on before I visit a store. This is actually pretty nice. I definitely want a crew member. I will spend, I usually don't do this, but I will spend 28 scrap for a crew member. Now we have four crew members that we can board with. It's actually kind of cool. Let's go down, around, up, over, and then visit the Distress Beacon. Uh, yeah, an additional crew member is nice. We have the shields to... Reject it. We have the shields to protect ourselves from combat, from uh, from lasers, from beams. We have a defense drone if we need it. So if we need a board, we can board heavily. Do want to get the uh, second level teleporter, though, as soon as I can. We will board their ship. Agree to capture the ship at a quest, quest marker. This is a cool beacon, actually. This is a very difficult encounter if you don't, if you kill the ship, because I think it just kills you automatically. But we are just going to uh, hopefully board that ship and kill them all, like we do with these guys right now. Our crew members should make short work of them. They have an NG and a Mantis. Oh no. Our Mantises might be able to take down their weapons slightly before they have a chance to do damage to us. Our Mantis is wounded, so we're going to swap them out with a new one. With a fresh Mantis. Fresh picked. Four fuel, 13 scrap. Pretty decent. Let's get everyone healed up again. Mantis can contribute to the healing as well. While he waits for a slot to open. And yeah. See, that that is a pretty decent... Uh, example of what we are looking for with this ship. We board, we board heavy, we board fast. We come in, we annihilate, we destroy, and we take what is ours. I will probably go to the exit beacon now and then fight the rebels later. Ah, just fuel. 
I don't want fuel, I need to save my scrap. Uh, just because we don't really have a lot of time. I want to visit the quest, be the quest beacon because it's a very nice quest beacon. Uh, they only have two crew members. This should be an easy, easy encounter. If I was trying to micromanage the game, what I would also do in this situation is wait, never kill these guys, and then their stun, stun uh, ion and their laser will just give me uh, crew experience. Dodges, hits on the shields, and then I would just wait for my crew to level up a whole bunch. I'm not going to do that, though. If I was playing on my own, I might, like, go make a sandwich and then come back, or, like, do my laundry and then come back, and then I'll have a leveled up crew. But for now, I'm not going to do that. I don't want it to, uh, don't want to subject you to that madness. They stressed that it is of great importance that you kill the crew without destroying the ship. They are not kidding. We can easily kill the crew, though. We have a teleporter and four crew members. They only have two. It should be an easy encounter. Rock man. Let's go send my mantises into their weapon system. If I can, take out their weapons before they have a chance of doing damage. The ions are not going to do anything, but the, the laser might. Now it won't. Trico, the rock man's not going to stand too long. And there he goes. You secure the ship and await for the merchants to arrive. Upon arrival, they message you saying, good job, we would prefer if you did not speak of this to anyone. So we probably just like did something bad, but we got paid for it. And we got an ion bomb weapon. Does four damage, uses one missile, doesn't do any hull damage. It only does system damage, but this is actually kind of nice because we can use this to destroy, not destroy, but we can use this to disable an enemy's uh, med bay, for instance, allowing us to kill the enemy crew. It's actually quite handy to have. I'm very happy to have an, a single ion bomb. We also have Charlie the NG, which means that we actually now have a permanent pilot because while the three mantises plus human will be uh, borders for us, we can still have someone aboard the ship repairing it if it gets damaged, unlike last time. Let's get the crew teleporter and one more bar of power. We will, we're going to have to do a lot of uh, nasty stuff here to stay alive, but hopefully we will s survive. Uh, we will board. They only have three crew members, so I will send my three crew members over. Actually, we're going to wait for the, they can't board us, so we're just going to board them immediately. Good. We're going to board them in their weapons room. And we're going to send over a boarding drone. We're going to, we're kind of going all out on this encounter. We want to kill these guys ASAP. It actually caused a breach in this room, which is kind of nice, actually. Killed one of their crew members. Take one of their weapons offline, hopefully. Hopefully we can take out the... Uh, no, we can't take off out the... Um, seven... This is a seven-shot flat cannon. I would have liked to have taken it offline, but we can't. We only got hit for one damage, though. Their med bay is ionized, so our mantises can go in there and kill their crew very easily. They're dead. Why is this important that we kill their crew? So that we can get out of here ASAP. Now that the enemy ship is destroyed, our FTL drive is going to recharge faster. Let's get the uh, repair done. We have to wait for the, uh, the teleporter because I, I made a mistake. I should have waited to uh, beam everyone back when they were in the same room. I didn't. It's unfortunate. Uh, we are not in any way going to the abandoned sector. Abandoned sector sucks. It is Lanius. Lanius ships have no oxygen. It might just be su mission suicide going there. So we're not going to do that. We're going to instead stay aboard our ship, go to the NG controlled sector, and just beam them aboard the, sh the NG ships that have lots of drones and bypass their drones entirely and kill them. It's going to be a lot easier this way. Might as well, eh, let's just wait for CY Hang to get healed up a little bit. There we go. And then we'll jump around. Uh, would you like to take up some mercenary work? Sure. We will rescue a store. Store's right there. Let's go rescue the store. Probably from some rebels. Yep, engage the rebels. We will engage the rebels and we will board with everyone we have. 
If they shoot a missile at us, we will use a defense drone, but maybe we can just kill them before that happens. We will also need to kill their um, clone bay. So let's actually send two people in there right now to kill their clone bay. Okay, defense drone coming online. I'd rather not take hull damage if I can avoid it. I actually need to kind of send everyone in here and then send one person into the clone bay to fight it. Actually, I can send two people in the clone bay to fight it now. Take the clone bay offline, kills the crew. There we go, we get four hull points repaired for free, 12 scrap, and they become a store, which sucks because we actually have nothing really to sell except for maybe the mantis pheromones, but we, since we can't buy anything, like why would we sell anything, you know? Get everyone back. And get everyone healed up. Including you, CY Hang. All right, and then we'll jump to the next beacon. That was that was all right. If we were more damaged, we would have gotten more healing out of it, of course, but I'm not gonna sell missiles. The missiles are actually gonna be quite nice for us, allowing us to kill enemy ships by um, uh, dropping an ion bomb in their clone bay, in their uh, med bay, med bay particularly. Hopefully we can get some more fuel too. Foolish meat sacks, intruders on board. That's eh, fine. Like, you don't have to be rude about it. Ah, uh, this is perfect. Human can actually kind of just tank these uh, these mantises a little bit. Send uh, send our mantises in to deal with them, though. They they can't do deal any damage to us with their weapon selection, so why not try our best to... Uh, Take out these guys right now. I'm just gonna micromanage this guy a little bit, get him healed up. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send the uh, human into the engine room. I feel like that's probably a better idea. They have two mantises. We have three mantises. That means we win. So let's board with three mantises. Should be an easy, easy encounter. I could wait and get some more experience on Charlie and Willow. Not gonna do that though. Get them healed up. Charlie took a, or Gracie took the most damage there because they were in the position where they got hit by the Mantis. They were in the one-on-one -on -one combat. Okay, I'm gonna put you here, Willow. You're gonna be an engine personnel and Mantis is going to be the sensor personnel now. Good. Don't wanna visit the store. We don't have a lot of scrap, so I'm just gonna skirt around it. Uh, this is the NG vessel, weird NG vessel one. You just get a little bit of scrap if you have an NG, and if you don't have an NG, don't do the encounter because you literally get nothing. Just a pirate ship. They have two crew members. We have three mantises. Should be a pretty easy encounter. We could potentially kill them by damaging the O2 system, but they're just gonna repair it, so it's not gonna happen, you know? They can't damage us at all, but maybe we can get some extra uh, misses and then get some training done on Charlie and Willow. It's going to take them some time to get trained up. And if I have, if I can get one more Mantis or maybe even a Rockman, this could be very, very nice because we can board with four Mantises. We could board with four or three Mantises and a human, but what's the fun in that? Let's send them back to the med or uh, the uh, teleporter for right now get the second level med bay upgrade because i like it get some more engine power just so that i have some more dodge chance if i want it which i very well might and we did such a good job on the last rebel beacon encounter i kind of feel like trying it again so the uh, so this Mantis Raider is fighting a NG supply station. If we're lucky, we can get some good rewards out of this. They only have a beam, which means they literally can't hurt us at all, which is very nice. Just gonna use my Mantises to uh, kill their Mantis. They should be able to kill him before he teleports away. Good. Get everybody healed up, and then we will send them on board the enemy ship. Ion bomb their med bay, and then I should be able to take them out but I am, I'm going to beam aboard first so that yeah, so that they uh, leave the med bay or leave the piloting room, I should say. We're going to damage them a bit so that they walk into the med bay 
Then we Ion Bomb. Maybe stuns him. NG is not going to have a good time. We're gonna bust through the door. Kill the Mantis. Easy. Easy peasy. It didn't even need to look at my ship at all because the beam, who cares? Their one beam is not going to deal any damage to us. Good, and now we uh, bounce around a little bit. We'll go down to the exit, maybe fight some rebels. We have to. We have to. So this is just a ship that's attacking us. Uh, I'm gonna send over the human. Just so that we have as much manpower as possible. I really do need to get the second level of sensors upgraded so I can see on see aboard enemy ships. Six fuel is actually really good. We will get hit probably by the uh, the um, okay, everyone go to your rooms except for the mantises. I, I'm micromanaging so I don't get hit by the flak when it comes in in a second. We got hit by the flak twice. <laughs> I was thinking I could jump away, and I was hoping that the flak would hit over here in my sh like shield room area so that I could have some time to to get people moved around, but whatever. We took two damage. Not bad. Let's jump to the distress beacon, see what we get. 60 scrap, I should probably spend it on something. Another simple ship should be a pretty easy encounter. We'll beam into the weapons room. Probably won't be able to take the weapons offline at all. Nah, that's fine though. We'll probably, again, take damage from the flak. Not much we can do about that, though. We did get a lucky miss. Okay, let's do a better job at avoiding the flak damage this time, shall we? We'll beam away right now. Not beam away, but FTL jump away so that we don't get hit by the flak. Uh, don't need to buy fuel right now. And we'll jump to the distress beacon and then the exit. And I will upgrade my engines a little bit more so that we have a better dodge chance and a better and a faster FTL charge rate, which I think is going to be very important for us. Beaming everyone into the shield room so that we have as many fighters compared to them as possible. You know, if I have four fighters and they have three, we have the advantage we're gonna win. If I beam into Okay, so, yeah, if, if I beam into two different rooms, then they can kind of ch choose a little bit more productively in their side how they want to engage me. Um, this is an NG vessel. They are poorly equipped. I can give them 25 scrap, 40 scrap, two missiles, and two fuel, or nothing. If you give them 40 scrap, two missiles, and two fuel, I believe they give you the NG Medi Bot Dispersal Upgrade, which allows you to heal your own units aboard your ship without having them be in the med bay. I don't see the need to do this. I'm pretty sure that that is what you get out of this. Um, I don't really, I don't really see the need to give them the uh, 40 scrap, two missiles and two fuel if all we get out of it is the NG Midibot dispersal upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give them nothing. Because we don't need it, you know, like, we don't need it. We don't, we can burst heal ourselves to full health. We have so many good fighters right now that if we get invaded, you know, I don't need a trickle heal on my units in order to fight off invaders. If it worked on board the enemy ship, that would be an instant purchase, no doubt, but it doesn't. So it's not a purchase at all. It's a, it's a, it's a skip. We'll get the engines powered up a little bit more. And we will go to the exit beacon. Have to fight some rebels. They've got a little bit of weaponry. They will board us. I might just wait for them to board me, honestly. Well, yeah, they boarded me in the teleporter room and he's gonna die very quickly. I could board them. I could board them. Yeah, let's go board them. Halberd beam should, ah, the laser, laser missed, so we're not gonna get hit by, hit by the halberd beam anyways. Let's board them, take their weapons offline so that they definitely can't damage us at all. Don't really care if they um, get their crew back. I really just want their weapons not, not to hurt me at all. 
And we did get hit by one ASB, did three damage to us. No biggie. Let's see if we can't kill them now, since we, we've already gotten hit by the ASB. If I can kill their crew, then I might... I need to keep my units in there for the uh, this room to actually be destroyed. If I can destroy their uh, clone bay, we can get one uh, fuel out of this encounter, so let's try it. They're dead. Get everyone back. Healed up. One fuel. Jump. Next sector. NG Homeworlds or Mantis Controlled? Let's go to the NG Homeworlds. Now, I, I usually like going to the red sectors, but in the NG Homeworlds sector, you can get an event which will give you a hull repair, I think an extra weapon, but I'm not entirely sure. A lot of scrap, some, some missiles, some drone parts, um, and also a ship unlock. So let's see if we can't do it now. Mantis Control is arguably better for the ship type we have right now, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. We're in a good position either way, so. Repair this breach, might as well. Get everybody healed up. And wait a second. Do you want to get the third level teleporter as well? Because being able to emergency teleport your crew back from a bad situation is very handy. We have to go to a store. Unfortunate, nothing we can do about it. Zoltan Shield Bypass is actually very nice because then we can teleport through shields, but not much we can do about it. I can sell a system repair drone. I could sell the Mantis Pheromones. Um, let's, let's sell the Mantis Pheromones. Being able to walk slightly faster is not all that important to me. I could sell the boarding drone, but we actually still need that to destroy auto, auto scout ships, so I have to keep it, basically. Uh, we will ferry your drone parts. It's right here. We will use the tele... We'll drag him back to the medbay. I don't know if I can use the teleporter to retrieve my crew and then medbay him, but I know I can medbay him to, to keep him alive, so let's do that. So, you know, I'm not going to say a bit of a risk, but I wanted to keep my crew member alive more than having to fight these three guys. Fighting these three guys is fine. I'll fight these three guys, no problem. I'll fight them day in and day out. Let's get the human out, though. In fact, let's just swap both of the uh, mantises out. These guys have more HP and human on human violence. Not going to end well for me, because they might just uh, kill my human. Or not kill him, but reduce him enough that I'll have to worry about his safety. No, get him back into the freaking teleporter. All right. So we got five drone parts from that, essentially. Not bad, since we do have a defense drone, boarding drone. I'm not going to pay your toll, you trolls. And we're going to board them in the weapon room, because it's a long way away from anything else. They do have a med bay. We will have to uh, ion the med bay. We will also probably have to use a defense drone. So let's get the defense drone out now. Ion bomb's gonna be working. Take their weapons offline a little bit. I might actually have to bring my crew members back. Heal them up and then send them over in the engine room so that they're closer to the med bay. Because I can ion, ion the med bay, but I can't get my crew members in there. You know what I'm saying? I can't get... I also didn't need to use the defense drone, apparently. Uh, I can ionize the, the uh, med bay, but I can't get my crew in there because they have a door system, so I have to I have to wait a second. Okay, teleport into the engine room. They're gonna come fight me. I will ion the med bay in a second, like right now. They can't heal anymore for 20 seconds, I believe. So there's, they're just gonna die instead. Okay, so I didn't need to use the defense drone. That's on me. I thought I would have to, but uh, they didn't didn't have nearly enough crew, nearly enough strong crew as I thought, so it's a bit of a waste. If I could pick up a drone recovery arm, that would be quite nice, because then I could always reuse my drones, but don't got that, do I? Uh, let's upgrade ourselves a little bit, get the sensors and door system up ah, we don't need the door systems upgraded sensors yeah sensors are quite nice we can see what the enemy ship has in store before we actually board 
we can upgrade the weapon system. It requires 40 scrap to upgrade the first level because it's a weak system, but it would be very nice to get that at some point. Um, let's get the... I guess we just save our scrap right now. The only thing I really wanted was the uh, second level sensors. We just did that, so... We will... Offer to beam, beam them aboard our ship and we get another crew member, which is a Zoltan, which is amazing because that means it's free power as well as a free crew member. So now we have uh, a pilot and an engine personnel for the most dodge chance possible and four crew members we can board with. That was a great beacon. Zoltan crew members are very expensive for a reason. We do need to kind of push forward a little bit quickly here. So let's do that. Pulsar, annoying. However, it's also trivial to deal with because they only have two crew members. We have four. We should be able to kill them before the flak goes off as well. Zoltan has a weak health, so they die very quickly. We will have to wait, though. We have to wait for the um, ion pulse to happen. We have to get our crew back, heal them up. Wait for our shields to come back online. So it's going to take a minute, but there's a very good encounter. Very good. I'm gonna wait for the teleporter to come back online as well. Looks like we will get everything online, good. And jump. Teleporter is not quite online, but it's gonna take like half a second. We will aid the civilian, sh civilian ship, absolutely. They have a three shot weapon and crew members that are going to board us. We're going to let them board us and then immediately board them back. Reason for this is because I want... This is annoying. I want to... Uh, wound them and then destroy their weapon system a little bit. So I am boarding them as well. There we go. We are now going to hopefully take their weapon system offline. Their mantis is wounding our teleporter, which sucks. Good, we took their weapons partially offline. Ion Bomb is getting charged. Ion Bomb is ready to fire. There it goes. We need to take down their uh, med base so that we can actually kill them. So that's what happens here. And we can bring our people back to deal with their Mantis who is attacking our teleporter room. Th they reboarded at the last possible second, but that's fine. We get a bunch of scrap. Get this healed up and get everybody healed up. And that worked out quite well. We did use one boarding drone, but we've got a ton of boarding drones. We have 24 drone parts. We're not going to use 24 drone parts. I mean, we could over the course of the run, but we're going to get more drone parts as we go. So I don't, I don't worry too much about that encounter at all. Worked out quite nicely. Haven't found the NG beacon yet. Ooh, we just picked up a free drone, which is nice. I'm not going to go to the store because I want to hopefully get the NG beacon. Nah, we're not going to get it. Unfortunate. That's okay. This actually sucks because we can't board them, but we do have the ion bomb. The ion bomb will take down the enemy shields when they hit. So all we have to do is kind of just wait a second for, uh, for the ion bomb to charge. I'll send a mantis over here really, really quickly so that it charges a little bit faster. We can take care of their missiles. We might take a couple of points of damage from the, uh, the solar flare, but that's it. So Ion Bomb coming in. Our crew can come back. Their shield, their super shields are done. We board them. And I'm going to attack their med bay. Because if I can take their med bay offline, then I don't need to use another missile. There we go. Med bay is dead. Perfect. Now they are dead. Don't need the defense drone anymore. Power up the med bay. Wait for the fire to finish. Bring them back. Get them healed up. And then we will jump. As soon as the teleporter finishes charging, I will let it happen. Ion Bomb takes a while to, to load, but it is very, 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 very nice at taking care of enemy med bays. So this is actually very... Um, it was a very lucky pickup, and it's going to be very nice for us as we as we continue on here. I don't need more drone parts. So it's a shame we missed 
finding the beacon that would have given us a bonus. That's okay. I'd rather go to the civilian sector than the slug controlled nebula because there's two red beacons that we can go to here. It sucks that we're not getting a lot of red beacons, but what you gonna do, you know? Kind of a sort of thing. No reason really for... Yeah, I'll do it. I was gonna say there's not really a reason for another bar of shields, but there kind of is because uh, burst laser mark twos are pretty common, so now we can actually defend ourselves against those. Now this is actually gonna be a pain in the ass encounter. We will be sending over the boarding drone. We have to wait for them to finish cloaking. We will be using a defense drone, so we will kind of be uh, toggling between the defense drone boarding drone most likely, and I might even board them. We can survive boarding if you do it very exactly. I might not board them. It might be too risky. Let's get crew member crew members doing stuff. And we will send over we'll, we'll activate the defense drone first. Shoot down the missiles when they when they come in. Our ion bomb is offline, but that's fine. Get it healed up. Okay, now we'll send over a boarding drone. Now the boarding drone, hopefully it lands in the weapon system. No. Engines, that's fine. The boarding drone's gonna do some good work taking out the enemy ship from the inside. It's gonna be an annoying doing it, but it'll happen. <sighs> the defense drone missed the missile. It's gonna hit us. Yeah. Why did the defense drone miss? Because there were asteroids coming in. That's the problem that we've got here. The defense drone might shoot down asteroids instead of shooting down the missile, which is what I want it to shoot down. Also, there's a ton of asteroids coming in at us. I've, I've got to leave. We, we keep, we're getting slammed right here. And apparently, I can't shoot down their missile for the life of me. So we're, we're going to have to leave. Get things healed up. Mantis and human, get in there and repair the... Uh, the drone control room. We're just going to leave. That sucked. That should not have happened. It's the, it's the freaking asteroids that confuse the defense drone. I wish I could toggle, don't shoot down the... Asteroid, you stupid defense drone. We actually did get some scrap here, which is nice. Uh, we will have to fight some people. They're in our piloting room, so let's send the mantises in there to deal with them for a while. Two more people in the engine room. We have a low power, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Get people healed up go get everything repaired there we go yeah I, <laughs> I am still a little bit PO'd at that last encounter that we actually had to flee from it I don't like fleeing from encounters but freaking defense drones man they don't shoot down what, what you want them to shoot down they shoot down whatever the heck they feel like and that's a, almost always not what you want them to do to be doing all right next Beacon. Try to, not, try to not let it get to us. This is a better, better beacon. They do have a med bay. They don't have a door system, though, which is actually quite nice. And they also can't damage us, which is very nice. We can take our time on these jerks. One mantis, a human, and a NG. It's actually not that bad. We should be able to take these guys out, no problem. Let's get things powered up and board them in the w uh, shield room. Cloak room? Shield room. They'll send three people in and we will attack them. Let's see if I can't take out their med bay. If I can take out their med bay first, that would be really nice. I can always micromanage my, nah. They have a uh, double powered med bay, which is very unfortunate. I should have had my ion bomb actually being charged. I did not. That is uh, unfortunate and my fault. I can take out their shields though, which is nice. They're gonna get fully healed though. I can kill them, it's just gonna take a while. And they still have the cloak. Oh, we actually did manage to kill one of them and the NG is also dead. That worked out much better than it had any right to. But it did work out, so I'm happy about that. Let's get Gracie healed up in the med bay while everyone's still in there. Willow's 
quite wounded, obviously, but that's okay. 138 scrap. I think we're just going to go to the store. Beacon, beacon, store, and then we'll see what we have. To buy weapons, ideally. Maybe a little bit of repairing, but probably not. Chain ion. You know, I said this in the last episode when I came up against this weapon, and I think I actually found it as well as, uh, as loot, but... Ooh, delay the rebels. Absolutely worthwhile delaying the rebels. Fleet delayed by two jumps. Gives us some extra time to uh, visit a couple of extra beacons, get some more scrap. Uh, Chain Ion, again, it's a terrible weapon. It's actually garbage, I think. I will probably sell it. It's also an Ion weapon. We have an Ion bomb. I don't need another Ion weapon. Uh, set... set uh, I guess we just scan. No, we'll use a Zoltan. Uh, tell him to stop. We can accept a bribe, we can bribe them and they upgrade our weapon system, or we can just tell them to leave. I'll accept their bribe. That's the best thing I can do there, pretty much. Go to the store, 162 scrap. Enough to buy a weapon pre-igniter. A cloak would be very nice. Mind control is actually quite nice. Oh, Vulcan is what we buy, though. More than anything else, the Vulcan is fantastic. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic, especially when you're going up against the Rebel flagship fight. Like, this is an instant purchase, in my opinion. The uh, Chain Ion is an instant sell. Makes I'm selling the right thing. Beam Drone is also a sell. I don't really like the beam stuff. Boarding Drone we still kind of need. And at this point, kind of just want to... Maybe Mind Control Hacking? Clone Bay. Don't need... Okay. Do I want a Clone Bay? No. Do I want... Do I want a mind control system? Maybe. Being able to defend against mind control with mind control is nice. Being able to mind control an enemy is quite nice. It's gonna make boarding significantly easier. Hacking similarly could be pretty good. I could use a hacking drone instead of a missile to disrupt an enemy's uh, med bay. But if I'm going to be using a missile for that, why not use missiles for that, you know? Why not save the drone parts for defensive purposes? So let's get final system slot, really? Well, we have missile defense. We have laser defense with our high shield and dodge chance. We have teleporting. Okay, you know what? Let's think about this. Against the rebel flagship fight, right? First phase, what do we do? We... I guess defense drone, high dodge chance, high shields take the brunt of their attacks, use the Vulcan and the Ion Bomb. Ion Bomb can take out the ship, probably the missile launcher that, that they use. Vulcan can just do damage to them over time. They'll cloak. It's annoying. We'll have to deal with it. I can teleport into their side rooms to take out the, uh, the Ion weapons on the left and the beam weapon on the right. If I have a mind control system, I can mind control the per people who are repairing even though we don't have a lot of, like, alpha potential like we had on the last run. You know, mind control, hack the shields, they can't repair it at all, it's on fire. Hacking is nice for taking out shields, but if we have the Vulcan, the Vulcan takes down shields on its own and does damage. So we don't really need hacking, if you kind of know what I'm saying. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to buy here. I have a defense drone. I can get an anti-drone drone or just keep using the defense drone they can't hack us with the defense drone ideally they can't board us with the um in during the second phase defending against mind control is honestly the best option here but we have six units so we don't really we don't need it you know that's the thing we don't need a mind control system we have four crew members we don't need a hacking system i think i will get the mind control though it's going to make boarding easier we can board with four crew members plus mind control one of them for a fifth. You know, if they have a med bay, all of a sudden we can kind of work that in our favor. What would I get instead? A hacking system is is very nice for control on the rebel flagship fight. But you can't use it in the second phase because they shoot it down. And arguably, arguably the first phase is hardest, though, because of the um, the hack and cloak combination that they have. Um, fuck. <laughs> uh, what the hell do I do here? 
I guess mind control. Well, hold on, hold on. How much is it going to take to get four bars? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A hundred scrap to get four bars of weapon power. It's not that long. Let's get mind control. Let's focus on boarding. For now. We'll come back to, uh... To actually having weapons later. Let's, let's, let's try this and see how it works. The Vulcan is a great pickup. But the mind control, I don't know. Maybe. They're gonna board us. We're gonna board them back. They only have three crew members. They have a med bay though. So we will probably have to, uh do something to prevent them from healing. Could probably just mind control one of them. And the mind control unit is going to go after the med bay. Yeah, that works out quite well, actually. The mind control unit also does more damage, so, you know, he's not gonna... He's not gonna have any problems taking care of his own teammates. And there it goes. Mind control wears out. We get a flak gun. Oh, that is such a good weapon to pick up. I am extremely happy about that. Flak gun, amazing at taking out enemy shields. It does three damage. Flak gun Vulcan is actually pretty nice as well, but the Vulcan, Vulcan takes down shields on its own, so it's not really all that important to have both at the same time. Either or is great. Both, not so much. Kind of do want to scout around a little bit. We've been doing pretty well at going up against the Rebel rebel uh, Fleet, and I can get a lot of uh, engine upgrades in the next few beacons that hopefully we can do this pretty well. I will sell 12 drone parts for 48 scrap. We do not need 12 drone parts. We don't need 24 drone parts, I should say. We have plenty. I will accept your fuel. I will jump around and then go to the exit beacon. Another asteroid field. We do have more shield power now. Actually, no, we still have three shield power when we got wrecked before. Uh, but we can easily take out take out the Zoltan and the two humans, maybe before the weapon fires their missile launcher. If we can, good. If we can't... Yeah... Do I want to try to dodge, or do I want to try to use a defense drone? I will use a defense drone. There we go. That's all I, all I needed it to be used for. Just make sure we don't take damage. Get everybody healed up. It's going to take some time. FTL drive still needs to charge as well. Get Hang in here. Get him healed up. Good. 